Once upon a time, setting up a computer monitor was as simple as connecting a VGA cable and maybe a power cord. Then came DVI-D, DP, HDMI, USB-C, and now Thunderbolt, turning it into a super complicated cluttered setup. Imagine a futuristic workspace where the need for KVM switches, USB hubs, and docking station is eliminated by the smart capabilities of your monitor and laptop connected by the model of Thunderbolt. In today's era, a single cable can power your laptop, enable multi-monitor display setup, no extra cables for microphone or speakers, and allow you to seamlessly switch between office laptop and home switch. laptop. I mean, if you ever looked at your workspace and wished for a magic wand to cut the clutter, what if I told you magic lies in the monitor? Yes, a monitor. One that does far more than display every device seamlessly connecting through one central point. A monitor that can be your docking station, your speaker, your microphone, and your connectivity hub all rolled into one. Let's explore how you can bring this future into your present. If your current setup, even though it's not Thunderbolt ready, can get a serious decluttering. And yeah, we have a different section laid out. So feel free to hop around to whatever catches your eye. Here is the quick intro to each piece of the puzzle. First, we meet the star of the show, this BenQ GW 3290Q2 monitor. This beauty is a 32-inch beast with a 2K QHD resolution. It's Thunderbolt ready, some nifty eye care back, making it perfect for those marathon coding sessions. But we have this Dell 24-inch FHD monitor. Now, this powerhouse laptop is equipped with dual Thunderbolt 4 ports, making it a connectivity chair. For the second laptop to demonstrate the home and office functionality, we are using HP Elite Book laptop with dual Thunderbolt 4 ports as well. And this $270 mini PC for your small NAS and home theater setup sometime back. Link for that video in the description. Now, this machine doesn't have Thunderbolt 3 support, but it comes with USB-C with Alt mode, which we will show the capability how that can be used for multiple displays. Next, we'll talk about the seven-year-old Surface Pro 3 model to show you how many DP is still relevant for this multi-monitor setup. Let's start with the base case using Thunderbolt port. This will be our main monitor. Right now, no cables are connected. This will be our second monitor. Starting off, we are focusing on these Thunderbolt 4 ports. Two of them are monitors Thunderbolt port here. Now, this monitor has a DP port, HDMI port, a DP port out, as well as two USB port for downstream connections. Thunderbolt port are important for our single cable setup. This is our Thunderbolt cable. The key player, which will connect our devices, supporting video, data, and power all in one. They are identical to USB-C cables except they support video on top of data and power in one cable. Connecting the cable is a breeze. Just connect one end into the laptop Thunderbolt 4 port and other into monitor. That's it. Plus, connect the cable to power the monitor. The single cable is powering your monitor and the monitor via Thunderbolt is powering back laptop which is sufficient for 90% of the laptops available, unless you're running a very high-end laptop. Remember, this was not possible before Thunderbolt Tech arrived. Now we have laptops under $500 supports Thunderbolt 4 ports, as well as monitors, which cost about 300 bucks on a good day, with 32 inch of a screen. For our dual monitor setup, we have primary monitor, which is BenQ, and ready to showcase the power of MST, which is daisy chaining monitors. Note that second monitor does not need MST capabilities to receive the signals. It just need a DP port, which we have in this case. This is our DisplayPort cable. 
which links our first monitor outgoing DP port to the second monitor's input DP port. Like the power cable to the monitor. Now that MST is activated on the monitor by going into the menu, systems, MST, and click on. And we have it an extended laptop across two monitors. And make sure to rearrange your display as you prefer. It will automatically remember the settings. This diagram simplifies our setup, showing how the signal travels from the laptop to the first monitor and then to the second, thanks to MST. Now you may be wondering, okay, now two displays are connected, but how is the data capability of Thunderbolt port works? Can it replace the docking stations or USB hubs or even KVM switch? For that, let's explore the inbuilt USB hub feature of this monitor. Now, Thunderbolt port is basically USB-C port just with added capability of display port. Data capability is providing us something called upstream data. Allow laptop to transfer data to the monitor and receive it as well. One USB-C for downstream with 7.5 watts of power as well. But for connecting webcam, plus it also has a USB-A port 3.2 Gen 1 with 5 GB speed. Good for connecting the disc. And then we have this headphone out port, which allows you to connect a headphone or a speaker without directly connecting it to your laptop. You can connect this USB wireless dongle to connect mouse and keyboard to any of these two USB ports. Just like that, our laptop recognizes each peripheral as if they were connected directly to it. While you can connect your own microphone or the speakers, that's like extra cables. The best part of this monitor is not just a stunning display, but has inbuilt noise canceling microphone and noise filtering speakers, designed for crystal clear audio and video calls. No external microphone or speaker needed. Press the mic key on this monitor to activate the built-in microphone. Same way you can turn it off. Depending on your needs for clear audio in video calls, the high setting is most effective at filtering out unwanted noise. I'm personally using that for my day-to-day -day office calls with the highest setting, and I think it's definitely better than company-provided laptop. Speakers have 2 watt power and better than most laptops. Now you can see how a single cable from laptop going into the first monitor enables second monitor display. Back to all different peripherals, as well as take care of microphone and a speaker needs. Finding a clean workspace without any clutter. Since all connectivity is being set up perfectly with Dell laptop, let's explore switching capabilities of Thunderbolt port. This is HP Elite Book. This also has two Thunderbolt 4 ports. Watch how effortlessly we switch from one laptop to another, simply swapping the USB-C cable. Without doing anything, all monitors are up, connected perfectly, and the USB devices are also working, as well as the storage device connected to it. Moving the application between the desktop is super easy. Just like that, our peripherals respond to the HP laptop. Growing that monitor hub is a game changer for multi-laptop environments. In case you don't have Thunderbolt capable laptop, but it does have USB-C port with alt mode support, then you can also use that port to connect to first monitor and second monitor will be connected with MST feature. Let's see that in action. Remember this fanless mini PC we did review some time ago, which can do home lab as well as router. So not only this comes with HDMI and DP port, it also comes with USB-C with alt mode capability. Now we can connect our USB-C to DP cable. And there we have it. Both monitor comes to life with the display of our mini PC. Here is a point to clarify. If your mini PC or laptop does not have USB-C or DP port, then you can connect via HDMI, 
but you won't have the daisy chain capability. Means it will not auto extend connection to the second monitor. Now in this case, since USB-C port is transferring the display signals, let's explore how we can restore its connectivity for USB hub. Since the mini PC has just one USB-C port and monitor require USB-C as upstream port, we will use this cable which has USB-C to USB-A. By connecting USB-A to USB-C on the monitor upstream port, we activated the USB hub feature of monitor. Now allowing us to use peripherals connected to the monitor's USB hub, which is storage, as wireless, keyboard and mouse. Now peripherals connected to the monitor's USB hub, what's like they connected directly to the mini PC. Without Thunderbolt, this two cable setup demonstrate the capability of our monitor's USB hub, help reducing workspace clutter. This scenario I used to explain how USB-C with alt mode works. But given many PC like this one also has full DP port, you can connect that DP port directly to the monitor and use that USB-C port for upstream to USB-C port to the monitor or for max data transfer capabilities provided by the USB-C port. This Surface Pro 3 is seven year old device, but this is far from obsolete. Got this mini DP port, which also support MST and thus DAISY chaining. Using this mini DP to DP cable, we can easily link our Surface Pro 3 to the monitor and extend to second screen. With just one cable, we establish a video connection extending the Surface Pro 3 display to two monitors. Now to utilize the monitor's USB hub, same as mini PC, USB-C to USB-A cable, allowing us to attach USB devices directly to Surface Pro. A Microsoft Surface Pro 3, a seven-year-old device, seamlessly integrated into modern setup, so proving that even older devices can get benefit from these new monitor features. Now, this is an old Dell monitor, about seven year old. This also has this USB hub functionality. If you look at this port, what is the upstream port here? If you notice, this is a USB B type of port, and here is the normal USB port. If you connect the upstream port here and then to your laptop, then you connect USB devices to these two USB port or these two USB port. All four ports are downstream ports. You can technically connect your monitors, keyboard, mouse directly here and just use these two cables for your display as a USB hub by connecting your keyboard, mouse, as well as storage or even USB camera. Note to remember here, only Thunderbolt port or DP port have the daisy chain capability, which allow you to extend displays up to three monitors by just connecting display cable to the primary monitor. In today's demo, we only cover two monitor setup and not the three monitor setup, which is very much possible, but my second monitor does not have an MST capability. So if two of your monitor has MST capability, then technically by using one more DP cable, you could transfer the signal to the third monitor without having direct connectivity to laptop with daisy chain capabilities. Also, there are monitors which have Thunderbolt daisy chain capability to connect to another monitors to only Thunderbolt cable. Though these type of monitors with dual Thunderbolt ports are relatively costly and mostly high-end monitors has these features. For most of the user, I wouldn't recommend to spend money because I don't see any benefit by having the feature since DisplayPort's MST does a fantastic job and in some cases more mature tech for display extension. Now, total number of monitors that can be daisy chained is limited by the bandwidth of the DisplayPort 1.2 connection. Typically, this means you can connect up to four 1080p monitors or two 4K monitors at 60 Hz. However, the exact number can vary based on the resolution, refresh rate of your monitors, as well as the capabilities of the graphic cards. If you have two 4K monitor, then sometimes it's possible that the refresh rate might be limited to 30 frames per second. 
Now, if you have display port 1.4 capability, then technically you can display three 4K 60 FPS monitors with DSC compression. Today we demonstrated if your laptop or desktop has mini DP port or normal DP port, why you can not only extend to second monitor without needing to connect a cable directly from laptop to that second monitor, but can also use the USB hub functionality without buying a dedicated hub. In most of the cases, this replaces your docking station as now you only have to worry about two cables. Without USB hub feature and MST feature, docking station really makes a lot of sense.